Hello, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm out touring some of the homes that will be included in our next online auction. We have about 60 something houses in Georgia and they're located throughout the state. This particular house where I'm uh, visiting now is 3813 Woodhurst and it's in Gainesville, Georgia. We have two uh, houses in this development. Um, pretty nice little area of homes. But unfortunately, this house sat a little while and it uh, got vandalized a little bit. It's going to need a little work, put it back in shape, but it doesn't need a major overhaul. It's mostly cosmetics that I can see. You'll have to examine it yourself and see what you think about it. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. It has a single car garage. It has a nice family room with a fireplace and it was built in 1999. The master bedroom is on the main floor and then there are two bedrooms and a bath upstairs. So it's a two level house. All right, it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna need a little work. We're gonna go in there and take a look at it now and then we'll look around the outside of the house and, and look it over and see and then you can decide what you might wanna do to make, put it in shape. A uh, neighbor told me that these houses sold anywhere from 100 to 140 when they originally built. And so I think there's some value here for somebody. If you're just willing to do a little bit of work yourself or uh, have some good contractors that can help you out. There's money to be made, there's a profit to be made here. Okay, let's move ahead inside. I hope you'll take time yourself to come out here and uh, ride around and look at it and look at the areas surrounding homes. I think you'll see what kind of value and uh, potential you have. All right, I've uh, stepped inside the front door and this is what I would call a family room. As you can see there's been some artwork on the walls and I think that's curable with paint. Uh, there's nice homes out here. So I don't, I think this one, somebody just took advantage of it. This has a fireplace. It's probably gonna need some new carpet. And I know the windows are boarded, but it appears they're all in, intact. They just boarded them up, you just take them off. Take the boards off and I think you can use the windows that are here. All right, this is our family room. As I said, there's a few little spots and stains on the ceiling, not sure what they're from, but this is the lower level. There's a level above us and it's nothing, doesn't look real serious or anything. Could be like some air conditioning constant, uh, condensation or something where maybe the house is just sat. Okay, I'm gonna take a look over here in our uh, kitchen area. These cabinets look great. That's a big saver right there, and uh, I think they're pretty good cabinets. There are some appliances here. I do not know where they work. We do not have the uh, power on. Again, in here, just need some cleaning mainly. And we do have a little bit more artwork on the wall, but I think that can be covered in the floor. Probably gonna have to replace it unless you can clean this paint off of it. The back door is boarded, but it, it's there. So it appears intact. We do have some light fixtures here. Really this kitchen's not bad, just some flooring and paint to clean up the cabinets. And if the appliances work fine, if they don't, then you know you can count on putting in some new appliances. All right, down this hallway is a master bedroom. Again, uh, just the windows boarded, but in here, I'm thinking just some cleaning and paint. The walls look good. Ceiling looks good. Maybe put out some fresh carpet. This would be a pretty simple fix on this room. All right, I'm gonna move down the hallway. Here's a, um, a laundry room. Probably just paint and flooring in here. And then I'm gonna turn around. There's a nice linen closet here. It's a double door right behind us. And so that's in this hallway or put some extra clothes in here. And then we have a full bath. Nice cabinet, countertop, 
Again, the window's boarded. Here's a, a tub shower combination. I think just good cleaning in here and paint to your taste. Okay, we're gonna head upstairs. There's two uh, bedrooms up there and a bath. Okay, right at the top of the stairs is a bath. There's a nice little cabinet and a uh, little vanity cabinet. And you do have a shower tub combination. Looks really good in here. Just clean up and paint. So really those two walls downstairs were, a few walls downstairs are the only ones that were vandalized. Okay, this is the uh, upper bedroom. This is on the left hand side of the house. Again, uh, not too bad a shape. Paint, clean, carpet. I believe I could make this room shine pretty easy. And then we have a second bedroom. A little bit of paint there on the wall. A little bit over there, number 23, whoever that is. But again, just get this room painted and put out some carpet. I think it'll be great. Hope I'm not going too fast. Just trying to get you a bird's eye view and you can come out and look at it on your own, but this is, this video is just to, you know, keep your memory, look at all of them. All right, we're gonna go outside. There's a little bit, a few uh, items and issues out there you need to be aware of. And that's where we'll be next. I'll see you in the yard. Okay, I'm gonna start right here on the front. A uh, piece of that trim metal that holds the vinyl in place is missing. I, I think it's laying on the front porch and you could probably just tack it back up there and not have to buy any materials. This vinyl does need cleaning out here and then they painted the, the vinyl right here on the garage and I don't know if they have a cleaning product for that. Maybe you can paint over it or maybe just put some new vinyl on. I'll let you decide. They also um, painted this side of the house too. So again, make that decision yourself. And just to show you, that's the neighbor's house over there. Look at his yard. Very nice, taken care of. Backyard looks nice. That's just one neighbor out here. I'm, everybody's got nice yards. And I think these lots are pretty deep because I see his wooden fence is pretty deep back there. Look at your tax map and, and, and see what it says. All right, let's continue on. Okay, there is some uh, rubbish out here in the backyard in the utility building. It might be uh, salvaged and utilized, but it's here. It's grown up a little bit over here and it's grown up at the back according to the neighbors. So you get in here with a bobcat or something, clean it up and have a really, really large yard and would be pretty nice. Again, we have our artwork on the back of the house and we're missing a piece of vinyl strip there. Now, I have no clue where that is. I haven't seen it around here, but just one little strip's missing. And as you looked at the windows inside, you know that the uh, the windows are there. You just boarded them up, I guess, for security. And then uh, that roof appears to be in pretty good shape. It'll be, uh, well, it's 2011. It'll be about 12 years old, but it does appear to be in good shape. All right, one more little thing outside. Let's step around to the other side of the house. Okay, we do have a, a little more artwork around here. And the copper people's been here and they took advantage of this house sitting vacant, nobody watching it, and they've taken the air conditioning. So both the um, air conditions in this neighborhood are gone. I really don't understand it. And, based on the quality of the homes and the care that 
the other homeowners take. I just don't see it takes a brave soul to come get this air condition. So, you can see this is a good house. It's gonna need some paint and cleaning up, but it's a quality house. It's an absolute auction. You set the price. We don't have a price on it. Okay, that's gonna about wrap it up here. As you can see, I mean, it's just gonna need some work and somebody's gonna have to do it. But a lot of it's paint, carpet, cosmetics and uh, make you a fine home here. This is 38, thir uh, 3818 Woodhurst. I do want to remind you a couple of things. This is an online only auction, all bidding's on the internet. We will not be here at the premises to take your bid. I also encourage you, read your contract package. When you register, you said you did, so let's read it. Look the information over. It's gonna answer a lot of questions about the auction, how it's conducted, how to uh, complete the transaction. If for some reason you need some additional assistance, that's great. You can call us, our phone number's at the bottom of the screen. We're more than willing to be there to help you in, uh, in any way we can. Or if you want to, send an email, info at terryhow.com. We will respond to it. This is um, gonna be a good house for somebody and I wish you well in your bidding. I hope this uh, video has been informative and encourage you to come out to this neighborhood. We have two houses out here and you'll probably wanna um, look them over real good and then pick the one or both of them that you want. That'll be fine with me, you can have them both. All right, I'm gonna move along to the next house. I appreciate you being here. One last time, online only. The address is terryhow.com and I'll see you there.